Jessica Caremore is an internationally renowned poet, playwright, actor, activist, producer, and CEO of More Black Press and founder of Black Women's Rock, or Renaissance Women. She is the author of The Words Don't Fit in My Mouth, The Alphabet Verses, The Ghetto, God is Not an American, and a forthcoming book of essays, Literary Apartheid. She has performed her poems and solo theater shows all over the United States, in South Africa, and across Europe. From her Broadway performances at Carnegie Hall, okay, now I see you. <laughs> Harlem's Apollo Theater, London's Institute of Contemporary Arts, to New York's Jazz at Lincoln Center, more believes poems belong everywhere and to everyone. Her new show, The Missing Project, Pieces of the D, is an international storytelling live art music show that features an experimental jazz orchestra. Moore continues to push the boundaries of genre with her first conceptual art installation, Nana, I Sing, The Body Electric, which opened at Dale Pryor Gallery in 2011. She lives in Detroit, where she is completing her screenplay and a memoir, Love is Not the Enemy, while raising the five-year-old love of her life, King Thomas James Moore. When she moved back to Detroit from New York and then Atlanta, I would see her around the scene a little bit, but we didn't get to know each other until I interviewed her for an article in Model D. And she subsequently wrote the foreword for my debut book, Red Clay Legacy. She has since become one of my favorite people. She fusses at me all the time. Yes, she does. And gets me in gear so that I'm doing my art. She's a dear friend and such a sweet, sweet nurturing spirit. Please join me in welcoming Jessica. <laughs> spirit of MLK Day and um, and just for me, you know, I mean, it's just what Kari spoke of, you know, what, what it brings to you. When I think about the civil rights movement, just as a woman, I tend to start thinking about the women who made the movement. And without <laughs> women in the movement, those brothers that kind of got all the airplay wouldn't be able to, um, wouldn't live as long as they were able to do what they were able to do. Um, a few years ago, for the Atlanta Tribune, I was living um, in Atlanta, Georgia, um, the, at the car at the Carter, at the Carter Center. They had a um, tribute to women in the civil rights movement, and I wrote a piece for um, four particular women: um, Elaine Brown, who I hope you guys know; um, Juanita Abernathy, who I love um, and is a friend; Evan Laurie and Kathleen Cleaver, who were, they were all there except Kathleen Cleaver. So I was like shaking reading this poem in front of these women, incredible women. So it's called the heart of a movement because without women, um, nothing moves. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make right. <laughs> I bear witness on this day that all women are not created equal. I'm certain I would not be alive if not for you, Elaine Brown. Not breathing and full of black power bloodlines tied to your birth. It was your refusal to not let us forget about Michael, Little B. Lewis, or other black magic children we pretend not to know when we watch the paid off news from our suburban homes. The ones we forget to claim after they've been drafted into the prison industrial complex. It's complex to be a woman like you. Our minister of defense battling for the rights of women with your own comrades in the movement. You taught us responsibility, gave us more than a taste of power, lifetime of organization and teaching and loving reminded this new generation that we must talk and write and read about this country's history simply because it exists and it wouldn't if not for you. And when they couldn't kill you with church bombings, where you taught voter education classes, or a blast through your living room, or daily threats against you and your family's lives, your feet remained planted when they walked in over 300 marches, when you discussed the possibility of dying with your husband while you were still young. Juanita Abernathy, we spoil young women who speak with the power of your tongue. We study with the blood of our elders on our books and complain about the long walk to class. It seems that streets are not always named after legends or mothers or survivors of a holocaust for that matter. When you are the wife of the reverend, your life is a sermon every Sunday, a story of sacrifice and struggle, a vision of Harriet, retracing steps of our journey from Selma to Montgomery, in honor of sheroes whose names we would have never known. 
Sometimes it just takes one woman to end apartheid, build a monument, stop toxic dumping in our backyards. You understood that SCLC was powerful with the SCLC women was necessary. But all about a passage from girls into lawmakers, you historical landmark, Evelyn Laurie, visionary in our constant fight for freedom. You, one of our other mothers of black art, black consciousness. You gave us the strength to take over university president's offices, lay our bodies across basketball courts to boycott racist newspapers, to demand classes closed on the MLK holiday. I did that at Wayne State when I was there in the 90s. Yes, I did. To go to animated office. It's fantastic. To give African studies departments professors with tenure. You taught us education as frontline commitment. You want to snick free you, Huey. You want to snick free Huey. You want to exile and love. You were never afraid of being bad or becoming full time student in human rights. You say, you're not tired. You're Jesse Jim. You're Kathleen Lee. You're Ellen Law. You want to get everything. You're Elaine Brown. You're Policy. You got it. You're Sojourner. You, you, Sonia Sanchez. You're Mary McKee. You're Fire Star. You need a smoke. You're international. You sister. You're my African. You, you tell her you're revolutionary. You, woman, woman, woman. You not supposed to be here. You not supposed to be here. You bulletproof. You panther. You white. You breathe. And you bomb shelter. You ancestor. You pioneer. You frontline Fatima. You have Amazon. Half amazing. You represent the project on Nietzsche. The double champion. I'm Scott Chair and Voodoo Candy Lady. The true land traffic stopper. The bubble gum popper. The pit tell astronomer. Everybody's baby mama. The storm calmer. Father's daughter. The birth of blues. Queen of queens. You got you warriors, I'm certain none of us would be here if not for you. Forgiveness, but taking so long to acknowledge the circle, but standing on the other side of it as it moves 
wait my turn to jump in double dutch, I learned joy is obtainable several days in a row. Welcome to the glory of the uninvited, the doctrine of the clairvoyant, the beauty of the authentic, the politics of the reviewer, the need to never be understood is all I ever need from outsiders. It is difficult to explain ourselves. The black voice is eaten, but never be disrupted at the table. I'm eating ponies today. I'm running with wood. Make love to make go with trees. Fire is a limb in the sky. How much light is allowed on this planet? Thank God we always turn it. Don't nobody want to see that much truth standing still. I hit the keys like piano. I swallow horns and drink strings like water. You got your hand on the throat, the post of my greatest discovery. Breath. The stuff we do without thinking. This is what makes us flawless. This is what makes us genius. Call our names. In the dark hour of someone else's daytime diary, I'm crying inside the irony, had to learn to love the fire in me. Call our names. Betty, Miles, John, Nita, Etta, Duke, Alice. Inside the metaphor for madness, and the jazz mouth of your fingers, and the fascination of perception, and the past life of a resurrection, and the dream state of the dreamers, and the owls that on the ocean floor. I hear the break of dawn, crack open like the rookie down, like the uptown A train on Sunday, waiting, always waiting for the teacher to simply call our names. Call our names so we can tell our stories, so we can serve the music. Watch this mystery of our skin carving in the stomach of our curved backs, our cherry wood tongues, paper for the inkless. We write in the air. We scream in the clarity of the blurry, in the flame of the band book. The same road we follow east of the same street we were born. I know I'm a queen. I don't have a place to decide my name. My feet have traveled every inch of this earth fearlessly. Birth is no different than death to me. It's the definition of change. Call our names in the backs of your throats, in the illusion of the educated, in the hypocrisy of the holy, in the steel of the night. It always comes to light. A whisper always finds a scream. A memory always finds a home. Call our names so we can find the others and warn them of our love before the inevitable fall, the invisible line, returning to the edge of where it all began and where it will always end.